Women are seen in the streets of Mazar Sharif driving cars. It is unusual to see women driving in the city. In this driving test session, 50 girls showed up to complete a month-long class. These new drivers say driving is a step toward self-reliance and independence. In my opinion, this is a great opportunity for women to learn how to drive. I think everyone should encourage women to drive instead of, God forbid, say bad things. Problems that women face while driving, people often say negative things. They should support women more. This is the first time women have gotten assistance from the local traffic administration, the Women Affairs Administration, and a private organization to finish their driving classes. Rosar Nuri got the support of her parents in learning to drive. That is rare in her hometown where the conservative Afghan society frowns on female drivers. We women often demand equality so that we can play a bigger role in our society. We say that we are half of the community and in order to make that happen, we have to fight against taboos. We too can drive just like men. We have to do whatever it takes to prove that we can do anything. Women rights advocates say the taboo makes women dependent on men in their social life. There are certainly problems that women can't comfortably go out and drive. One of the main issues is the existing of old traditions and taboos that have prevented women from driving. Last year, 300 women received their driver's licenses to become first Afghan women drivers in northern Afghanistan. For Mirais Bejan in mazar sharif Afghanistan, this is Bejan Hamdard, VOA News. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.